In this video, I'll show how to create an assembly comprised entirely of profile members. The goal is to create an assembly that approximates this sample cavity wall. This wall consists of five parts, foundation, brick, insulation, masonry, and flashing. In my assembly, these five parts will each be a separate profile member. There are five layers already set up for the profile members I'm about to create, and the materials I want to use are also already in the model. When building an assembly, there are a few simple rules of thumb to follow. First, I want to set up my assembly assuming that I'm facing toward the direction of the path the assembly will follow. In this example, my sample wall is oriented toward the positive red direction. For the assembly I'm about to create, I'll orient the parts the same way for convenience. But regardless of axis or orientation, when setting up the various parts of the assembly, the negative or positive values of offsets and setbacks are determined by me standing at the start of the path, facing toward the direction of the path. Second, it's important to determine where the placement point will be for the assembly as a whole. Each profile member will have its own placement point, and offsets and setbacks for each profile member will be based on the distance between a profile's placement point and the assembly's placement point. In this case, I want my placement point to follow the front bottom corner of the brick. So while the current wall in my model has its foundation at the origin, my assembly will have the foundation and flashing below the origin. Third, assemblies should be built from the bottom up. It's possible to use any order while adding profiles, but in most cases, stacking from the bottom has the most logical flow. So my assembly will start with the foundation. I could trace the foundation cross-section, or just copy the cross-section face. I'll open the foundation group, select the face and copy it, then close the group. I'll paste the copied face here, and leave it selected so that it will be identified as a new profile. I'll click here to open the assembly dialog. At the top, I'll name this assembly Cavity Wall 1. A description could be added as well. Then, in the Profile Member tab, I'll click the plus sign to add the first profile member. Naming is important with assemblies. If I keep the default names, things can get quite confusing as assemblies become complex. So this profile member name will be Foundation. I'll click Edit Profile to define profile properties. In the Profile dialog, I'll click the plus sign and name this profile the same thing, Foundation. Its placement point will be top right. I'll set the material to foundation and do the same for layer. Back in the assembly dialog, I need to adjust the up down offset since this part of the wall sits below the assembly placement point. I'll measure the vertical distance between foundation and brick as a quarter inch and enter negative quarter inch since the foundation placement point is below the bottom of the brick. If global is checked, this offset will be maintained even when the assembly follows along a sloping path. Left-right offset can remain at zero, since the foundation and brick are flush. Start and end setbacks don't apply here, since these control where along the path this member will start and end. All parts of this wall will follow the entire path, so I don't need any setbacks. I don't need the foundation profile face anymore, so I'll delete it. Next, I'll add the brick by clicking the plus icon again. Note that by default, the new profile member is automatically duplicated and stacked on top of the previous profile member, which comes in handy, for example, for identical rails of a fence. The name of the previous profile member is listed here. I'll name this member Brick and click Edit Profile. I don't have this profile in the model yet, so I'll use the rectangle tool to trace around the brick cross section, then select the face. The face doesn't have the correct height, but I can fix that. I'll click plus, name the profile brick, and set the placement point to bottom right. I'll also set the material and layer. I'll also break the aspect ratio and change the height to 10 feet. The up-down offset is still assuming that the brick sits on top of the copied foundation profile, but the actual bottom right corner of the brick matches the assembly's placement point, so I'll change this to zero. Now I can erase the profile face, and I'll test what I have so far by clicking Build. 
It looks good so far, with a little gap where the flashing will go. I'll do the insulation next. If I have the brick member open and add another member, that will go on top of the current brick. I could easily make the necessary changes, or I can delete this one, scroll to the foundation member, and add. I'll name this insulation and edit the profile. I could trace the profile as before, but say I already know the dimensions, 1 and 7 eighths of an inch by 10 feet. I'll draw this rectangle on the ground and select it. I'll add this as a profile named insulation with a bottom right placement point, and I'll set the material and layer. To calculate the left right offset, I'll measure from the insulation corner to the front of the brick, 6 inches. This distance has to be negative since the insulation is to the left of the brick. The up down offset is 0 since it's on the same level as the brick. I'll erase the face on the ground, build the assembly to check, and it looks good. I'll add the next member, called masonry, and edit its profile. Since this is another rectangle, like the current insulation profile, I can change the profile name to masonry, break the aspect ratio and change its width to 7 and 5 eighths of an inch, and set material and layer. The distance to the front of the brick is 8 and 3 eighths, so I'll enter this as a negative left-right offset. I'll enter 0 for up-down, though it's not exactly correct, and I'll fix this later. The last member is the flashing. I could trace or build this profile, but let's say the flashing was built from a profile I already have in the model. To get this profile, I'll open the Profile dialog, click Get Attributes, and click the Flashing Profile member. The profile has a bottom right placement point, and its material and layer are already set. I can click Build and draw out another flashing profile member. Back in the assembly dialog, I'll add the final member called flashing. To pick up its profile, I'll click the current profile name. Then with the eyedropper, I'll click a flashing profile member, either the one already in the wall or the one I just added. For the offsets, I need to measure from the lower right corner of the entire profile. For left right, the distance is positive 3 16 and for up down, it's negative 3 fourths. Let's test out the complete assembly. All parts look good, and the flashing is located correctly. But the masonry is hovering above the foundation because of the incorrect offset. So I'll scroll back to the masonry member and change its up down offset to negative quarter inch. To implement the change, I'll select the entire assembly and click Apply Assembly Attributes. Another thing I want to change is the junctions. A wall like this would have butt joints. I'll make this change by editing the masonry profile, the insulation profile, and the brick profile. The foundation member can be continuous. The wall is still selected, and I'll apply the changes. Because each profile member is on its own layer, I can easily look at each profile individually. Finally, I'll click here to save the assembly. My home folder for assemblies opens, and I'll save it here. If I were then to open a new file and open my home folder for assemblies, I would find this assembly. In the next video, we'll look at adding components to an assembly.